Hi there, I'm back with a quick tip this time. I want to show you how to mask hair. Well, actually you don't even have to mask hair. That's what I want to show you, how not to mask hair. I will show you a technique that allows you to see all this hair against this uh, sky without having to mask without having to mask it uh, directly. So I have this uh, quick setup here. I I would usually extract the woman just like this and leave the hair um, untouched. And this is a really limited technique, I have to say. This only works with um, if your model has the hair against a white background and also the hair has to be dark because if you have blonde hair it, it will probably not work. And what you have to do is, if you have the image like this, duplicate the layer and hide the first layer and you have to make sure that the background is completely white so and if it's not just use levels to increase the highlights just a bit don't do it like that because you will lose detail there on the hair so you still want to have you still want to have the hair there maybe increase a bit the midtones and click OK and once uh, you don't have to worry about the rest of the image, uh, we will mask this. You only have to worry about the background and the hair. So make sure the background is completely white and you still have detail there on the hair. And once that is done, change the blend mode to multiply and that will get rid of all the background. Now once you have the image on multiply, uh, unhide the first layer, create a layer mask for it get the brush tool, make sure you have a soft brush and the opacity and, and the flow are to 100% and the color is set to black. Select the layer mask and start masking. And you can see how the white background goes away and you will reveal the layer underneath it. have to be careful here with the highlights, don't do that because you will um, you will get rid of that highlight there so make the brush smaller and just paint like that be careful with the edges as i said this is uh, only works with images that are where the hair is against the white background and also the the color of the hair has to be uh, dark otherwise it will not work because we are using the multiply blend mode so let's do the same here So, we masked the hair, we have all the details, and we didn't have to make any uh, complex uh, masking techniques or anything like that. If you want to make sure that the rest of the image is not visible, you can select the second image, create the layer mask for it, and just mask the entire image except the hair. I can use the brush tool, just like that, and only leave the hair, which is uh, what you want. So this is how it looks. You have all the details and you didn't have to mask anything. So I hope this uh, quick tip uh, helps you. As I said, it's really limited. Uh, it's, uh, you can only use it on certain images, but it's, it can uh, save you a great uh, deal of time. So that's all for today. See you next time.